Hello and welcome to the tour of Disc Golf Bag Tag Challenge. Today we're going to take a look at what we've got going. This is our this is Tribaloid's new disc golf game. Currently we are the creators of Around the Rock Disc Golf. Disc Golf Bag Tag Challenge is our second disc golf game. The newest features that we're really proud of about this game are the multiplayer mode. We've added multiplayer here and you will notice that you have to sign in. Now this game is a Google Play game exclusive so you'll need to be a part of Google Play Store. You'll also need to have a Google Plus account. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sign in. And you'll see that I've signed in here. Now when I hit the multiplayer icon you'll see that we've got two multiplayer modes. The real time mode and we also have the take turn mode. The take turn mode, let's go ahead and try that out. I'll do a two player. Oh. I don't want to take uh, my turn, but this is a, uh, let's go ahead and switch back. Now if I go to invite players here, this will prompt me to go ahead and choose a player. So I'm going to play against Nathan here and hit play. Uh, keep my angle about right there. I uh, don't need a tomahawk throw, but I do need a little bit more power and I would like to choose something other than a putter. So I'm going to choose my distance driver here. I've got a Valkyrie. I'm going to go ahead and give that some good force. About right there looks good to me. Woo! Hit the tree. Thank you. All right. So now I'm going to select my AVR. We have added the disc uh, flight ratings for Innova discs. So if you're familiar with those, you'll all be very familiar with how they'll operate here. So I'm going to go ahead and get that in. Ah, almost. That was a 43 foot putt, so I'm not really sure if I could do that in real life anyways. I'm good with the 14 foot putts. All right, so now that I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. And I can go and play another game or go my own business and go back to the phone. Uh, but what's happening right now is Nathan is getting an invite and he's getting a notification. And then when he has available time, he'll be able to actually play. And then when his turn is up, it'll send me a notification. And then we'll go back and forth. We can make a game last a couple hours or we can make a game last a couple weeks. It just depends on how fast we want to go back and forth. Now, let's just say that you're sitting there with a bunch of buddies and you want to go ahead and play a real-time game. So in this case, what I can do is go ahead and send an invite and I could play with somebody real time. I make a throw and you would make a throw. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and show you, for time's sake, I'm gonna show you a single player mode here and get you adjusted to the controls that we have in the game. Angle adjusts the angle of the disc in the front, the, back, the front and back. Now you'll notice here, if I come over and switch over to swipe, you can see I can swipe it as well. So we also have the wind variable here, so make sure you keep that in mind. And I'm going to go ahead and give it some power. I'm going to lower my angle down a little bit, and I'm going to give it a good kick. All right. I'm going to switch over. Bam. Got a birdie. This is hole number two. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to switch over to something a little bit more powerful here. I'm going to use my turn. Give it a little power. Let's go ahead and give that some throw. I've exceeded the, my abilities and have thrown it too far. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to throw it back. I'm going to use my mid-range. Trusty rock. Give that a good toss. Oh, good thing I had that on video because I almost got that. There we go. Doesn't matter, I still got par. So here I am. This is a, got a tree here in the way. So I'm going to kind of angle it over. Let's see, let's choose the uh, Valkyrie. Give it some angle. I'm going to give it a lot of power. There we go. Oh, cut left, cut left. Give me some wind. All right, it's fading. Nice. I should have a proper shot. I'm going to switch over and use my putter. Good old trusty aviator. Give it a toss. 
pal, Birdie. Thank you very much. So that kind of gives you the gist of what we've got going on here. Now you can play for bag tags. Let's switch over and show you the profile here. Profile is really neat. One of the things that you can do is you can go to the disc shop. The more you play, the more cash you get and the more experience you get. So what that allows you to do is you can buy more discs. So we have a wide selection of Innova discs here. They range from putters to mid-ranges to fairway drivers. You'll see that we've also got a lot of different drivers here you can choose from. My favorite being the Boss. So I'm going to go ahead and buy the Boss. It's $25 here. Yeah, I know it's an expensive one, but I'm going to go ahead and buy it. I've added it to my disc storage. You'll see that I have one disc. Now I can go over to my disc bag. And you'll see that I've got five discs. Now the catch here is that I can take five discs out on the course. If I want to get, if I want to be able to take more discs out on the course, I need to unlock a new bag. And in order to unlock a new bag, you've got to have the experience. So right now, we've got 125,000 experience you've got to unlock to carry out 25 discs in your little stroller. Uh, if you want to get the backpack, you can hold 15. You'll need 75,000. So right now, I've gone ahead and I've purchased the. Um, I've got this is the default bag so in order for me to get this I need to get 400 more experience points uh, to upgrade. So right now I can carry four discs on the course. What I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to remove one which is a tough decision because I want to take my boss. So I'm going to select Valkyrie and I'm going to go ahead and move that to storage. I'm going to go over to my storage and then I'm going to select my boss and I'm going to add that to my bag. So now I've got five discs in my bag. Um, you also can change your bag tag. So I'm going to select pink here, and you'll notice, uh, oops, you'll notice that if you come and you play a real-time game or a turn-based game, you'll be able to see your custom customize customizations uh, in your disc bag. Now, the, the, you'll have to play real-time to fight for the bag tags. If you want to fight for bag tags, make sure you play real-time matches. Uh, a no, a non-swapping bag tag match, but for lowest score is the uh, turn taking turns. So uh, we really hope that you guys enjoy these different multiplayer modes. Uh, it's taken a lot of effort for us to build them. We've also got a leaderboard here. We've got a single player tournament, real time multiplayer tournament, and we have the turn based multiplayer. Get your scores in there. We also have got the achievements. So you'll be able to fight and earn a bunch of really cool achievements. We have uh, settings over here. Uh, disable and enable the settings that you wish. And we also, this is our single player mode. And there you have it. This is our bag tag challenge. And uh, we hope you enjoy it. Thank you.